everybody. I'm Tom Vassell. I'm Z Garcia. Hi. I'm Efka. I'm Elaine. And we're here at the Essen Spiel 2019 with only one hour and 39 minutes to go. Oh, wait. That's it? I got some shopping I got to do. I got some sleeping I got to do. Mm. I got to do both. <laughs> That's not true. Hey, you have nine minutes left to enter the Rathskeller contest. Ooh. So if you want to enter that and win a table, we're at the end of this feed. We're going to be giving it out. Um, up until then, we're just going to talk about the fair itself. We're going to do a top ten reasons you should come to Essen Fair. I told you this, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Right. No, what? I'm just wondering whether I can win this table. You, you, uh, anyone who appears on the feed cannot get a table. Oh. We don't need a table. Yeah, we already have. Are you saying that because you want one and this is... Yeah, like I'm, I'm just, not really I'm just you know, I'm trying to be gracious. Can, can we go back to the, the fact stream. that there's a top 10? Yeah, but Nobody here's the deal. told me anything about a top 10. I didn't even make a top 10. I figured we could do it on the fly. Done. Yeah, like every to top 10 fine. ever. Got Best it. top 10. So you're going to be number right 10. Now. What? I'm starting with number 10? Yes. Schnitzel. <laughs> oh, it's just a schnitzel. <laughs> How is that I only mean, 10? <laughs> oh, is it in order? Yeah. Okay. Well, no, okay. she, you, you already said it. We can't. Yeah, okay. We can't go back. Right, sure. Like from the from like in the town or here yeah, in the hall. Yeah, from the town. Oh, not from the home. I don't know. I've not had it in the hall. But from the town, yeah. There's a great uh, pub called Fritz Patrick's. It does amazing schnitzel. And uh, just to let everyone in on the pun, it's Fritz Patrick's because it's an Irish pub an in Irish Germany. German pub. It's actually quite good. We went there the oh. first night. I do like that place. Yeah. And yeah. did you did you get the schnitzel there too? I did not. Not that night. I actually haven't had it yet. Yeah, no, you, I know you need to get more schnitzel, and so do I. We could get together after this. Do schnitzel, right? I like it. Number what's number nine? Number nine. <laughs> number nine is a dual schnitzel. It's behind the scenes, Tom Vassell. When Tom Vassell is so <laughs> tired and he lets his guard down. Wait, what did I do? When? Nothing. I'm not going to say the things you said to me. People got to come here to yeah, see it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but that doesn't mean... <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Come and you'll find my real spirit. Oh, all, all right. right. I'm going to get back on topic here. My number okay. eight is the booths here put to shame pretty much any booths at any convention that I've been to. They spend two days, you know, saw... I, I think it's because you can... You can build the, you know, you can do things here without needing a license. You know, in America, yeah, yeah. no, in America, the unions have to do a lot of this work. Of course. So no one does it. Right. Like in America, you throw a sheet over the table and put up a sign and you're done. Here they, they're painting and mm. it's That's really great. cool. Yeah. And some of the booths here are just phenomenal. Well, if you, if you compare the size of this to like Gen Con, this is like six Gen Cons put together. The exhibit hall, yes. Yeah, yeah. And I don't think anything like that would ever work in America or UK. You know, where, hey, there's, there's just no so space. many, no space and so many regulations. Do you right. know what I mean, right? Yeah, it's just, it just an We're interesting thing. We're making it sound thing. dangerous. <laughs> just want to point that out. Like, yeah, I saw a man yeah. throw himself into a paint bucket and then run around on the floor. I mean, that's, it's that's fine. Paint, They're safe. Though, right? They're perfectly safe. Come to Germany. Scaffolding will fall on top of you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but all joking aside, I really do like it. It's a yeah. neat experience. <clears throat> it's it's especially weird if you come in Tuesday, we do, and mm. it look, I'm like, mm. they're not going to finish on time. Some of these <laughs> oh, but boots, they do. Like, I'll yeah, see them, they're yeah. starting to paint. I'm like, oh, if you're going to paint that slowly. But I, I think some of them stay up almost through the right. night putting these together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it just, it's a spectacle to come in. Mm, absolutely. The disadvantage of that is it's easier to get lost because sometimes it feels like the walls go to the ceiling, and I'm like, where am I? But that's why you have those big banners. Like, that is up, true. So. I do like that they have between every hall, they show you a map mm -hmm. with an arrow pointing at the exit right. you're about to sort of make <laughs> it out of. It's, it's a huge help for someone who is, you know, spatially lost. completely lost. Yeah. And they also have a sign at the beginning of each hall that shows you where all the booths That's are, which luck. is also helpful. Yeah. <laughs> all right, you're seven. All right, my number seven is a mix of the old and the new. You have mm. a lot of new games here. But you know what? One of my favorite things to do here is actually look at booths that carry old games. Just a mixture of old games, and I love going through those because you'll find some little game you missed when it first came out or something you haven't seen in 10 years, and this booth somehow has a copy. Or oh, the and bargain booth in Hall 1, right? Yeah, there's a lot of them. There's a well, big hall one. Six, hall 6, there's six piles everywhere. Yeah. I came across one game that's easily 10 years old, and it was, I think I paid 8 euro for it, mm -hmm. and it's great. It's a, it's a neat find. I mean, shrink-wrapped and everything. 
Sometimes you'll find used games, but sometimes they're brand new. And I like that because it, it validates that. You know, I, I, I like that it pushes against that idea of our hobby being disposable. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like if the game is not new, it's garbage. Mm -hmm. That seems to be a trend, and I don't like that trend. I, I think, you know, a game that's five years old is just as good as the day it came out. So you hear you can explore both the new and the old. That's my. That's you know, seven, someone man. in chat saying that the four of us is like Christmas. Who, who am Some I? Some of us are Christmassy. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> Grandpa Krampus. Christmas. Krampus over here. <laughs> Christmas and Krampus. Oh yeah. Do you know? Do you know what in Lithuania how we call Santa Claus? Grandpa Christmas. Oh, Christmas I thought this Grandpa. was a joke. Sorry. No, 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 okay. for real. Yeah, we call him. <laughs> how do we call him? And I, I didn't on realize. On the telephone. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realize how cool it was till someone asked me, how would you call, you know, Santa Claus? And I'm like, wait a minute. It's Grandpa Christmas. That is better than Father Christmas. Why? <laughs> because grandpas are cool, know. right? Yeah, but is he really going to... Uh, uh, don't you feel a little guilty about making him travel the world delivering stuff? He should just be relaxing He's a grandpa. on a he rocking chair stuff. with a book. He wants to make sure you're warm and fed. And oh, it's all farmed out to elves now. All the oh. elves do all the work? Yeah, 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 yeah. So he's like in the office running the business. He just gets the reindeer and the sleigh, and the sleigh is like a rocking chair. It's all automated. Got it. Mm. Modern, right. modern Christmas. Uh, back to number 10986. Good job. And it's kind of a combination of those two, actually. Like, it's just that there's always something new to see, something different to see, whether it's the booth, whether it's games that you've not seen before, or you talk to someone and they go, have you seen this game? And you're like, no. And then you rush to that hall and you see that game. And then you're like, oh, this is amazing. And then you rush somewhere else and you see that thing. Yeah. Just, there's always something to see and do and people to talk to. And, yeah, and, just and, and someone will whisper a secret, like, there's this game, right? I know, yeah, right. that like nobody knows about. Yeah. Go find it, and you find it, and it's like. Which is ridiculous, yeah, of yeah, course. Yeah. I mean, of course people know about it, but it mm. feels like discovery yeah, yeah, when yeah, you're yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. yeah, exactly. You'll come across a little booth and be like, oh, I haven't heard about this. Mm. And even though thousands of people have, obviously, you still feel like you discovered it. Yeah, because you've never seen it before. Yeah, never it's heard neat. It it's neat to be able to share that information. Mm -hmm. I like it. Is it number five? It's number five. Number five. So as much as I like the halls, I love the spaces between the halls, right? It's Be like a secret. Yeah, it's like Why a secret. Why are you secret. telling everybody? I know. Well, <laughs> all right, okay. Probably shouldn't say this, but it's the best place to travel around the Messe, right? Because if you find all the little doors that take you out of the halls into between the, between the outside bits, right? It's actually outside of time and space, really. Yeah, it feels mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. it. You, if you feel like you, again, discovered a naughty secret, right? And you With just go out. Well, I, I didn't habits. say anything about naughty, but all right. Yeah, all right. <laughs> but, you, but you go out and you can just uh, have a bit of fresh air and also skip all the uh, traffic that you encounter in the Messe. It's great. It's like a little break. And I think people need to remember that you need to take a little break in a convention like that. The contest is closed, I'm supposed to tell everybody. All right, okay. Oh. Mm -hmm. we'll, we'll announce the winner in about 20 minutes. Mm. All right, number four is the insanity here that I've only ever seen at this particular convention. <laughs> now, we see cosplay at lots of conventions, mm -hmm. but here it's just a bit, and it's always in promotion of a game, and I'm never sure what the game is. But like this one, there was a parade with a guy with a drum and a giant ogre and a guy running around and a horse blowing a little horn. Oh, wait, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. I don't, still don't know what that was. Also, there are after parties. There's at near our booth at 7 every day, mm -hmm. karaoke starts up. Oh, yeah, baby. With people who have no fear. Or singing <laughs> talents. Do you, you have a song for? that you like to sing or is it just... Do people pick random songs? I, they have a karaoke sure. machine over there. Well, an actual I went karaoke over. Machine. You don't they just do burst legit into karaoke. Okay. They go. They okay. have the TV. Wow. Okay. I mean, this is all. This is not really a great reason for you all to come here because you can't really do it. You no, no, no. You definitely can see the right? karaoke. But okay, but that, that's there during the day. Clask is doing all kinds. People write Clask on their heads. That's mm -hmm. true. Oh, they're trying to get a free copy though. Sure, but yeah. that. There's that, that little insanity bubbles yeah, all over yeah, the place. Yeah, and yeah, uh, yeah. like Rush MD had like a huge amount of. Oh, like, did you see them oh, pushing the gurney? Yeah, right, they pushed the gurney, the gurney through and whole people three. in, yes. in uh, scrubs and everything. Time. Yeah, I, I will say, <laughs> these the parade in the gurney. Sometimes I was like, maybe a different time of day. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, that's a good one. I don't. It's gonna be hard to top because it is kind of crazy around here. I love that stuff. You combine that with the booths. 
and this show has mm -hmm. a vibe unlike any other when it comes to that. I think so, right? It's mm -hmm. Again, I, I see cosplay, but not you don't see many people in cosplay. It's mm -hmm. like all organized cosplay. Mm -hmm. Like the one booth in Hall 5, there's a bunch of Roman, everyone's dressed up like Roman. Yes. Oh, yes, yes. I haven't seen like, that. Back in the day, there used to be the whole booth babe thing at cons, and that's faded out happily. But every once in a while, someone might dress up like their thing. Here, a lot of people dress mm -hmm. up like their game. A cowboy's demoing a cowboy game, you know. I, I don't know. I tend to like that sort of thing. Well, maybe they're not dressed up. Maybe they are real cowboys. Actual cowboys. Or, or Romans. Got it. Mm -hmm. All right. My number three is a little bit similar to that, but it's about the sort of cross uh, section of culture that you can find in a, in a place like this. Mm -hmm. You are not going to get anything quite the same at a convention like Gen Con. There's certainly people there from all over the world, but not like here. Mm. Here, mm. I've had, I've seen folks uh, that run a game uh, manufacturer in Spain, and I've talked to them. And there are people from all parts of Asia, and there are people from all parts of South America. It's fantastic. It is amazing being able to see the Hasbro booth, which I'm seeing over there, and I can walk 40 paces, mm -hmm. and there's someone who has one game, they're from a country I couldn't pinpoint on the map, which is not that difficult. But anyway, and and they're line, in, and they're right. in the same place, and and you can mm. sort of it's explore. It's like the world of games in one one yeah, area. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. So I like that. I've always liked that about the show. The first time mm. I came here, I, I thought that was amazing. That I would mm. go to a booth. I knew all their games coming out because they were big, and then I would discover some person who made an abstract wooden game I'd never heard of, and they handmade. Right? 40 copies and they were here. So I like that, uh, you know, just clashing and mixing of cultures that you'll find at the uh, at the Spiel. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, uh, similar really, like the people, just generally all the people well, have no, been... That's, that's, what? Shh, what? Save it for number one. All right. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't have a number two then. No, no I got number two and number one. All oh, right. okay. Oh, oh I wow. don't get to do number... All right, them. sure, fine. Dang. That's my top ten list. All right, I already right, gave right. you guys That's two fair. each. That's, That's fair. All I, right. I thought I was being very generous. No, wow. Number two is... This is how it is at home also. Yeah, sure. <laughs> no, well, I just got to bring it home here. All right, number two is the games. I mean, literally. There are more games released at Essen than every other convention on Earth put together, I think. I don't think it's even close. Have you been to the car show, though? They have a lot of games at the car show. Or are we talking just board game conventions? I went to a cutlery convention once. They had forks and knives and a What new kind of games can you play with what forks and knives? What is he talking about? I thought you had a hard job of reining me in, right? What is going but on over there? You said all <laughs> conventions. I think you mean all board game conventions. No, I'm going to say all conventions. I mean, <laughs> then you haven't been to some of these cutlery shows. <laughs> I, I don't now. think you have either, <laughs> sir. <laughs> I have the finest collection of tiny forks you've ever seen. I love a tiny fork. It's amazing. I do too. But back Anyways. in, there's just there's any. I, I was talking to somebody just recently, and they said, "I just don't." There's not many good games that come out, and I said, "I, I just, I think that the problem is you at that point because there's a thousand well, some that's games." That's rude. Yeah, I know. But if you can't find five games here that you like. It's just crazy. There's so you many might games. Not be able there's to a find game for them everybody. You're, there's so many that maybe you can't find them. Okay, but this is a positive list. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's true. We could twist all this to be negative. <laughs> uh, all yeah, this now, culture. Now you're regretting bringing me here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. No, but like people ask me, and you get this. It's the number one question we get asked is, mm -hmm. what is the hot game? Mm -hmm. What's the game? And there's just so many. I, I don't it's dare say It's whatever it is for you. Right. It's just too hard. There are too many games. And, and this and idea of someone not being a gamer, I think we can stop that now. There is a game out there for yeah, everybody. For sure. And like for you sure. said, there's probably five. And there's probably five here. Mm. So everybody, you know, can find a game they like. I think you're 100% right. Mm. Yeah. And it's our job to help people About do this that. one thing very specifically. <laughs> just, <laughs> just, just this one. Just, yeah. Almost <laughs> made a mistake there. <laughs> All right, then number one, which was going to be culture, so I'll just shift it back to just the vibe and the people in general here is probably the nicest of any con I've gone, of the big ones. I've got a title for you. The spirit of Essen Spiel. Ooh, That's number one, the right? The spirit. I, I, I defer to you. 
Okay, so I think there is like an unmistakable energy of Essen. Do you know mm. what I mean? Just the mm. feeling of feeling energized because so many people come here driven to have a good time because they're ready for this four-day exhaustingly massive convention and they bring that you know good, good spirit and goodwill good with them. Good vibes, right? And I think, I'm going a little hokey here, but I think... You know, you can kind of absorb that, you know? You can feel that and you can absorb that and you can get energized by that. And then everyone's in good spirits. Mm -hmm. Everyone's super nice to each other. Everyone's super kind to each other here. And We uh, had someone open the door for us earlier because we, we were failing to get through a door and they just opened it for us. I've noticed there's us. a lot of push-pull doors here and <laughs> yeah. I'm doing the wrong way. No, I'm this... Like, why? Oh. Yeah. This door, this particular door had a tissue stuck in it so it wouldn't properly, like, if you close it, it doesn't open again. Mm -hmm. I don't know why. Anyway, but someone came in from the other side and opened it for us. Even though they couldn't even see who we were, you know, they saw that someone was pulling the handle and they just went up to the door and opened and Do let us Do you think they in. wouldn't have done it if they'd known who we were and then they'd been like, no, yeah, not you. Not How did they two. react when they got a look at you? Mm. 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 Yeah? Mm. They were like one of those, like, oh, too late, I guess. Mm -hmm. Okay. No, you but know, I, 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 I think I agree with you to a degree about the energy, everybody sort of being like, oh, the frenetic energy, which yeah. is, you know, infectious. But I think here, and I like this, I think it's tempered a little bit when I see mom and dad and their kid who are clearly not that far, don't live that far from here, yeah. and they're just sort of strolling through it. I like that mixture of energies. Because mm. mm. it's not just that fervor of, of sort of consumption, which again, it's fine, it's just, we all love it, but... I think I like seeing the family, especially on family day. Today, there's a lot of families here. You just see a lot of kids playing games. Yeah, and it, for sure. it resets me a little bit. It sort of brings me back to, oh, that's right. This Toys is what it's all about. for kids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. they're all sitting here playing. And I see mom and they're kids smiling. Time. And I'm like, right. I got it. Like, we aggrandize this thing. And at the end of the day, it's about enjoying and smiling and playing games mm -hmm. together and sharing something. Mm. I like that energy a lot, and I, that one's hard to get anywhere else for me. I, I, I can't say anything better than that. I think that there we go. You nailed it. Yay. Mm. Now it's your turn to get Yeah, no, I, I completely agree. Yeah. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah, so it's been a really good show. I had a really good time. At least for me, I'm learning to take these shows and slightly... I'm not killing myself like I did the first time I came. I don't think mm -hmm. we've learned that yet. <laughs> did you go to bed at 4 the one night? Yeah, we played Maracaibo until 4 p.m. 4 a.m. <laughs> did you do that? No. And you know what? But I you know what? The, the bonus number 11 is exploring really interesting REM patterns of sleep. <laughs> so... <laughs> But you know, that, that just adds to my energy argument because uh, I was playing it with my friend Frank and Isaac Childress of Gloomhaven, right? And uh, a person called Julian from Isaac's booth. And, and like, it was 10 a.m. that we were, like, just leaving the, uh, the pub to go and play, right? I'm going to go at 10 p.m. Because if it's 10 a.m., you got a bigger no, problem. 10, 10 p.m., 10 p.m., <laughs> sorry, yeah. And, uh, and, like, I had no worries that we were going to finish this game because we were all like, we're going to play it. We're going to play and we're going to finish it. And we knew, like, you know. Wait, this was a six-hour game? No, it wasn't. It took us two hours to, you know, get to the hotel and found, find the table mm. and punch out and teach the rules and stuff like that. It shouldn't have been a four-hour game, but we started at midnight. So, you know, it kind of trails a little longer because people are half asleep trying to uh, work out this heavy euro. It was great. I loved it. Mm. I loved every minute of it. Are you jealous? <laughs> no, I'm good. I've had, I've had fun <laughs> nights, too. They didn't. Involve the, sleep. Yeah, the punching of <laughs> the game and playing till 4 a.m. and all that. But I, I get it. You know, it's yeah. you fill your time here with lots of fun and you can find the thing you want to do, you know? I didn't do that all the time. That was just right. one night, right? Mm. All right. So we're going to uh, take some questions if you have any. But um, Our laptop just went off. Yeah, you, it, it's got to be on my channel if you're watching on the Dice Tower channel. So if you have any questions for the four of us, but I swear if it's what's the hot game of the con, I will come through the camera. <laughs> now I'm going to get six of those, right? Yeah, of course. Yeah. I'm going to push you through that camera. Are you? Yeah. This is a very violent vibe here. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so it's, it's been four days. We're almost done. The con, mm. this is a long con. Mm. It is. It's a long convention. There we go. Yeah, we're not, we're not tricking you. <laughs> 
Ha ha! It's not SNL at all. <laughs> right. We've been green screening the whole thing. It may not be. I'm so tired. I don't really know anymore. Uh, wake up um, at home. We could be anywhere. Not what we happens. could be literally anywhere. Wait a minute. Sure. If we're green screening this. How does that work? There's that plants. Yeah. No, the hat. Elaine's hat. Oh my hat. Oh, oh my hat. It's hat's a special. It's a special. It's the same one I use for Gamora's skin. Right. I was, I was uh, looking around, like, where is the thing? Yeah, all so, right. That's all true. All right. Different let's shade see. of green. It's fine. Let's see if we got any questions. No? But, <laughs> of course. Uh, Somebody said it, didn't they? Can, where can I buy the table in front of us? That's from Rathscallers. It's a great table company. You can mm. go online and find them. The best food we've had this trip. Go ahead. I uh, like the spirally donut. Oh, did you? Yeah. I still haven't eaten that. Oh, it's good. It's really good. It's like a donut, but in a spiral. A donut? Yeah. Really? You, you know what you know what donut I is, right? I do know right? what a yeah, donut okay, is. Good. When you said spiral, I immediately thought that potato thing. No. So it's like a, I don't know, a cylindrical donut with a hole in the middle. Oh, I know what you mean. And you it's sort amazing. of unravel it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah it's sure. pretty delicious. Uh, the, the, uh, the ice cream dipped in the hot chocolate where the chocolate melts. Not melts, sorry. The chocolate freezes on top of the ice cream via the method of the ice cream being cold. <laughs> this is like chemistry class. <laughs> and right? then you eat it, oh. and it's amazing. The Haribo candy is a pretty high thing for me. Yeah. But I think the meal we had at Fritz Patrick was actually, mm. yes, I really like the food there. It's really good. Uh, schnitzel's really good. Lamb stew's really good there. I, I, Jason let me have a piece of his. It was, I, I was a little jealous I hadn't got it. I was surprised mm, how good mm, it was. Mm. I enjoy the simple things. They, we, I, back at home, it's hard to get sort of a fresh tasting very clean sort of breakfast mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so I've just in the morning if I have the time anyway I can make it over to a little cafe just walk uh, you know a couple of blocks and get a little sandwich or something and it yeah, the bread is amazing and oh, yeah. it's fresh mm -hmm. oh yeah and then oh yeah the pretzel rolls do you have everything pretzel rolls? in it yes I've had them. Yeah. yeah yeah I've had them here and everything so just it tastes really good it and does, it's yeah. really again it's not a fancy dinner or anything, mm. but I love being able to have that as a very casual bite. Did they have these Hawaiian pretzels in previous years? Those things are amazing. What's a Hawaiian pretzel? Well, it's like Hawaiian pizza, but it's on top of a hot pretzel. No, I don't well, know. Like with pineapple? Pineapple and, and ham and cheese. I had the one with ham, but Where no. is this? Can we still get it? Is it shut? No, they closed. Uh, he, he ate them out, actually, <laughs> in business. No, it's uh, right by the, at the very end of the big hall. Galleria? Galleria. Right before you go in the hall, too. Mm -hmm. Right, okay. It's open at breakfast time, and so since I assume this is what everyone eats for breakfast, well, that's pizza, what I got. Yeah. yeah, all right. All right, right, so here's a variation on the hot game thing. Is there a game that we saw that's the hot game of the con? Someone yeah. Wants to know. Really? Wow, what did you see? What did I see? Or what did that I you play? thought it was the hot game of the con? No, well, not for us. I'm talking yeah. about is there a game that's like oh, right. the game that people are talking about? I don't mm. think there is, actually. I don't know. There's been a few games that mm. seem to be doing really well. I know that I know that I saw on Mars um, the there's only a few copies of yeah, it, but every time I saw yeah. it there's like fifty people around a table like climbing on top. Yeah, I saw Atlantis Rising Second Edition. Mm -hmm. They have a pretty small booth, but they were doing some serious business. Everybody was over that game. And that's great. That game is really fun. So the queue for Terra Mystica expansion was insane on mm. Thursday because they, were, they said we only have a limited number of English copies. And when we got there, there was just this massive queue in front of the Fuhrerlin Spiel booth. Did you so, walk up to the front and say, do you know who I am? <laughs> no, I did not. I went and bought my copy like a normal person. Like a normal person? Yeah, yeah. Do you do anything like a normal person? Uh, no, because you told me just before the stream that I'm very weird. So. I did not oh, say that. Oh, we're getting a peek behind the scenes. <laughs> That's number That's eight real and Tom. six. I but think. It, I don't know. It's true. I am very weird, so that's good. <laughs> All right. We're well, just going to leave that hanging there? Good yeah. Night. I'm right. not going to say anything like that. Well, 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 I think not? you're a why lovely gentleman. With, with an awkward silence, you know? This is not the Dice Tower booth, by the way. This is yeah. Essen's... Nice studio mm. that they built here for their streaming. Your booth mm. is lovely, though. Oh, it, well, this actually, our booth doesn't look too different than this in a lot of that's ways. That's true. That's yeah. true. We're with Ratscallers, and their right. stuff's amazing. Mm. Um, so we have the iPad of power coming. Oh, wow. This oh. is going to be where we pick the, the winner. Wow. So we need oh, to wow. press that button, and then it will tell us who won. I'm excited. There are 161,561 entries. <laughs> you can enter more than once. Oh, okay. 
Did you enter? No. Because if I press this and you come up, it, that ruins, would be, that would it be, ruins everything. That would be horrible. You guys no, didn't enter, I did right? Not. No, we did not. <laughs> Do you think we'll know the person? I mean, that would be a shock and a surprise. I am it? going to say, like, a thousand to one, no. And if you want to take that bet, uh, because you know. we only know one person. All right, Elaine, you get to press the oh, button. Oh no, oh, the right, I don't think I can cope with that power. Oh, okay, uh, someone's got to press it. It's gonna get to you, Elaine. I want to see you do this, it. Which color one? Green. The, gr <laughs> the, gr the one that says "Draw Winners." <laughs> this is where I like palm the thing. All right, do it. I have to hold your hand. Oh no, you have to press it again. Oh. There are four thousand five hundred people who can win, and one. I press it again. Yes. Yeah. There we go. It's doing a thing. Oh, it's 99%. It's doing an exciting thing. Oh, it's done it. I definitely do not know this person. They're, they're from America. Huh. <laughs> do you know this you person? Know this? No, I don't. I don't. I don't All right. Uh, okay. This sounds like a name that you would pronounce better than me. Uh, Jim Damskov. Right? Does that sound right? Jim Sounds Damska. right. Congratulations. Yeah. Woo! But there's a whole lot of angry people watching here live right now <laughs> that did not win. Oh. And now they know your name. You better run, <laughs> Jim, if you're in the audience. Here's his email and social security. No, we don't have that, do we? <laughs> no. We have the email. <laughs> email, <laughs> email that to me? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. All right. Congratulations. No. Yeah, it's really cool. And, um, you know, we use the Rat Scout table in our thing. We do? And Fantastic. I really like it. It's a great table. Um, this is like the, this is one I need to get in my living room. This is yes, super nice. This is beautiful. Yeah. But for me, I, I wouldn't be able to use this one because I, I couldn't, I have a hard time sitting in a couch right. and playing a game. Do you? I really like it. I find no, it. A party game, yes. But okay. a board game, this is too, I, I can't be comfortable like this. Mm. I thought, well, A, I'll fall asleep. That's true. Right, okay. He will fall asleep immediately <laughs> I, once comfortable. I, I've seen him fall asleep in the cinema watching Star Wars. <laughs> Ten minutes in, Han Solo, he was out. Mm -hmm. I woke up 20 minutes later. You did, you did. Yeah. <laughs> I have never gone to that theater and not fallen asleep. <laughs> I think I've, I've watched you fall asleep more than anyone should be comfortable with except your significant other. <laughs> and that's, a, that's, that, that's, that's no exaggeration, that's true, I think. Bro. Yeah. <laughs> Material. Well, it was pretty funny because at Godzilla this year, we went to see that, and I fell asleep. But then Godzilla woke me up. <laughs> With a big roll. He oh, did. My. He had one really big one right before a silent moment. Oh, no. And he just, brah, and he jumped half, <laughs> and like completely out of that seat and back down. was like, I'm awake now. And then I stayed awake because it didn't get quiet again. That's right. Yeah, that movie is a cacophony oh, of sound. Did you, did you see episode eight, Star Wars in the cinema? Do sure you know the bit did. where it goes really silent and the two ships go? Yes. Yeah. Did that wake you up? <laughs> <laughs> He's no. assuming you were asleep for that, of course. No, he, well, he wouldn't know because he wouldn't know what happened before Look, the ships yeah, right, like, okay, crashed. Okay. Right? I fall asleep in about one out of two movies. That I, I've never fallen asleep in a Marvel movie. All right. All right. I've fallen asleep in every DC movie. <laughs> in fact, wow. Suicide Squad, the first time we watched it, I saw about... 25% of the movie. I think but if you were a film reviewer instead of a board game reviewer, you should have a <laughs> nap rating. Like, you know, this movie gets three out of ten naps. That's good. All right, let's see if any more questions, because we're going to be on for five more minutes, and we're going to shut down or so. All right. How many new games were introduced over the four days? Oh, gosh. I mean, if we're excluding multiple languages, we have to do, like, you know, the same game in multiple languages technically counts here, I think, as multiple games. Mm -hmm. If you exclude that, it's got to be around 700, 600, 700, I think. Wow. Okay. Minimum, really. Yeah, I think yeah. it's about that. It's such a crazy number. Like, you can't absorb that. Right. If we played two new games every mm. day of the year, it still would not be enough. Wow. That's right. It's, And the fact is, it's because of that a lot of games get lost in the shuffle. So and, you got to watch reviewers. That's not like expansions, info. that's like literally new games. No, that oh. might include expansions. Okay. It's possibly okay. new expansions, new did, product. Right. Did a, uh, pu what single game handmade publisher stand out for you? Handmade? What? Okay, was well, there a publisher that stood out to you this year? Other huh. than uh, a Clask question. with their karaoke? Um, yeah, that's a tough question. A single publisher that stood out? I mean, certainly there's lots of publishers that stand tell out. You, Game Brewers booth is like, every time I walk in all four, I'm like, mm -hmm. these guys are not a small company. Well, I mean, right. they, they, they yeah. are, I think, but they sure don't look it. 
Yeah, no, it's uh, well, they share it with TMG, don't they? That's true, but that's yeah. still for I, even for two companies. That's that was one impressive. Well, it takes display. up the entire center of Hall Four, right? Sure. And then I also have a beer stand. Oh yeah, that's so, true. So you know that draws they a lot of people. In there, right? That's in one thing I've always, that will only happen in in Essen. Yeah. That you can go and play a game and then walk up to the bar yeah. in the convention center. Right. Yep. That's convenient. I can't even imagine in America there's like that's like ten laws that were just broken. <laughs> mm -hmm. In England, can it be done? I. Uh, Maybe you'd need a license, or yeah, I think you need like a pub license to be able. At the UK to do Games that. Expo, there's none of that, but they do build as a family. Well, this is built as a family-friendly show. Oh, well, yeah, well, I don't know. Yeah, uh, I I think in UK you can do it if you have a if the venue allows it and you have a pub license, mm. which means you have to be a pub. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Right. It's anyway. It's just a, a unique thing, and and there will be is. a food stand in the middle of the hall. Mm -hmm. Which again is not usually the food stands at most conventions are outside. Mm. Here you'll be booth, booth. Then there's a guy with, uh, you know, pretzels. Yeah. Mm. Or a little ice cream cart. Yeah. We, we talked about a lot of food in this episode. All or right. that guy that throws the airplane. Oh, yeah. Don't bring up oh. that guy. Did he hit you? No. But I always feel like he's about to. <laughs> he's a pro. He's not going to hit anyone. I, I dislike that gentleman. Oh, really? <laughs> I'll put it mildly. Because he does it with so little emotion. He just goes, Puck. I know, well, there's that, but also I always feel, I, I hate walking near him because I always feel like he's about to hit me in I the mean, head. If it hit you, it wouldn't hurt that much. I know it's it? a foam know, like, plane, yeah, Elaine. Yeah, I get yeah. it, but it's still, it's, you know, like someone being like, boo, boo. You know, that'll still, <laughs> like, bother you after a while. I'll remember that oh, the next time I see like you. I just don't like that guy. He's so... Confident, also, like he <laughs> knows he won't hit you. Yeah, but I yeah, don't yeah. know that. I don't but, know him. But when you watch him do it, always the airplane flies so close to people's he heads. He likes as well. to cut it close. Yeah, right. I know, right? I saw him spot a gap in people walking. Yeah, and did, did it up oh. and like did it like this instead of doing the <coughs> around and back. It went whoop through the gap in people and back to him. He's doing so, trick shots. He was doing yeah. a trick shot through wow. a gap in the crowd. Amazing. What if I am running through that gap? <laughs> no one's going to be running through that At that, that given that moment. Hole. And that will teach you not to run, like your mother said. I know. Mom did say, if you run, you're going to get hit with a foam plane. <laughs> but I didn't listen. Are games here cheaper than Amazon? Sometimes, actually. Yeah. Not the new ones. Although, even today, some of the games, I mean, games from last Essen, or two essence ago, you can go to Sands and they are blowing them out. Mm. Mm. If they you don't need to have the newest and the hottest and you come here, no joke, you can buy dozens of games for like just the mere, you know, 100 mm. or so euros. Yeah, that's true. I see them for 5, 10 euros yeah. everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Mm. Also, because publishers often have to ship their stock back and they don't want to do it. They want to ship as little mm. of it as possible. Sometimes on the last day, they'll just let it fly, you know. Yeah. Again, that's mm. almost never the hot, hot games because they've mm. already sold out. Mm. Correct. Yeah. Um, but it is amazing. When I the first time I came to Essen, it was really hard for me because I wanted to buy everything. Yeah. Because old games were new to me, mm. Mm. and it was just like ah, I could go to those used stands and buy, you know, everything for five euros and ah. There was a game earlier that we bought called Going Postal that we saw it, walked away, came back, and it had already dropped by five euros. <laughs> Like really? in the time that we'd gone away and yeah. come back. Did yeah. you walk and come back again? No, yeah. we did, but it hadn't dropped again. No, I think it actually went up a pound. Did it? Because there euro. was a there was the, Is this a euro. Speculative. Yeah. Well, no, no, no. Cause, <laughs> yeah, maybe. Because it was uh, <laughs> like now ten euros, or if you buy to eighteen, and there was a friend of ours who wanted a copy, so we each paid nine. But then we came back, and the two for eighteen was gone. It was just ten euros, right? So it it did go up effectively a euro. You probably. Ruined it. Maybe. Yeah. They Maybe. were like, oh, this yeah. is. You know. I think we bought too much stock. Yeah. 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 That's how it works. Like, this is if more you buy the stock, thought. the price goes up. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm right. I like how yeah. we get to talk about board games and teach on this. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Thing. This is the Supply foundation of an 18xx game, right? Right. <laughs> With more trains. All right, all right. Next question. <laughs> um, did anyone buy any art or anything non game related? I bought a, actually quite a few pieces of art. I'll have to show you later. They're really cool. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Mm. I uh, I bought these shoes. They were 18 euros. But not here. They're not here. No. No. Okay. Well, I also I bought this vest not here. <laughs> no, but I mean really in Primark, confused. just outside. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Not here in the Messe. 
I'm pretty sure that's not what they're asking. Okay. No, I didn't. No, 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 I didn't. Did you? I don't think so. I can buy non-game related stuff. I'm always tempted though to buy else. those meeple bowls. Yeah. I'm just afraid they they'll break because oh, yeah. they're oh, glass. Oh yeah, we wanted to buy them, yeah, but they right. have an online shop Shipping or something like that, and they'll ship it apparently. Properly. So that's safer than putting it in your luggage, mm -hmm. right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm also tempted to buy more of that marble ramp thing. Uh, what's that called? Marble. The marble ramp things. I bought a whole pile of them in the past, no, and they I always have new. Is. They have new things. Mm. Oh, now there's a. A spinning majuka bobber. But I mean, that's a game thing, though, isn't it? No, it's just a marble ramp. There's no oh, okay. game. You just let the marble go down, <laughs> and you've won. Uh, it's tell a you toy. What. It's, a, it's just a I toy. See. Last year, me and Rodney each bought a wooden yo-yo, and then... Did you practice it? Can you do it around the world? Uh, yeah, I can, actually. Walk the dog. I, walk the dog is harder with a wooden yo-yo. These are the only two tricks I know. All okay, right, all right. Do you know After. how to do them? I... I when I was 13, I okay. practiced all this stuff. Okay. It's been Same like, here. It's been yeah. like 30 years, Maybe so, you can have a yeah, yeah, so I'm going to go with no. Yeah. Okay. Just getting it to stop and spin took me like a week to learn. What's around the world? That's where you oh, take like it and you just spin it around. Yeah, you do a loop it. <laughs> but then, but then when after it comes down, you can still pull it back up. Because sure, anyone sure. can spin it around in a circle. Of course. <laughs> I know what walking the dog is. I didn't know the other one. Okay. Okay. Well, that... <laughs> <laughs> We're ending on that, on that, on that really? Positive. We're ending on that? Uh, that's sad. Uh, oh, Gravitrax. That's what the marble thing is called. Mm. Yes. Uh, oh, no one bought any clothing, no shirts? Shoes. Okay. We just talked about yeah, shoes. Shoes. Uh, well, they have T-shirts here, too. Sam bought some LP records. Oh, I saw those. Wow. Well, there's like LPs here? I think they're in like Hall 7 or something. Yeah, there's so a bunch apparently of a lot of, yeah, his daughter got there. a record player because it's the trendy thing to do. Mm. And he bought her an Elvis and a Beach Boys oh, album. Oh, that's nice. Nice. Yeah, Beach that's Boys cool. Beach Boys are great. Mm. All righty. Well, hopefully we'll see you guys next year here. If not, we'll see you somewhere online. And if not, we'll see you on our respective channels. What channel would people go to find you guys? No pun included. If you put that into YouTube, you will find us. Yeah, there literally is nothing else called that. Um, a lot of people steal our name, though, to build these wooden devices. But we're the Dice Tower. But this has been live coverage here from Essence Spiel. Uh, we're going to be back in a few minutes. Uh, well, not us, but they're going to be back to close out the whole show. But until then, I'm Tom Vassell. I'm Z Garcia. Thanks, everybody. I'm Efka. I'm Elaine. From No Pun Included. See you later. <laughs>